guys it's Rachel here it's very early in the morning and I've literally turned my camera on and I have no idea what I'm gonna make today um, <laughs> it's just if I don't turn it on I won't do any uh, you know I won't do anything and um, it's so hot yesterday I just couldn't even do a video at all it was just beyond hot so um, and our friend is visiting from Florence because he's doing a job with Steffi and the clients here and um, so he's staying and he'll be back in a minute uh, so maybe what I'll do is oh and then and then it's not the drillers it's someone cutting plants outside um, so if you can hear that noise I'm sorry about that but I have to keep the window open because it's just as I said it's beyond hot so anyway I have all these scraps here I mean it's out of control so why don't we do um, some collaging just some random collaging and then we won't do it like all you know we won't do a whole lot we'll make something out of it but we'll just start um collaging i might have to i think i'll close my window just a minute it's a bit noisy and a bit annoying that's better i'll just have to sweat it won't i <laughs> oh dearie me Oh, so the, the, um, this client is a little bit um, odd. So he he bought this place. Um, I don't understand even what they're going to do about it. They've done projects and stuff for him, but um, he bought this place for thirty thousand euro in San Marino. And Steffi said, honestly, I wouldn't even take have. Oh wait, I need to do it on that side. I wouldn't have even taken the place if he gifted it to me. That's how you know bodgy it is, shall we say? And um, and so they're having trouble doing a project for it because there's all these regulations and it does, you know there's, doesn't have the right height ceilings and and they're really struggling with the project because just because of the type of place. I think I'm going to put um, pieces of paper that are writable. I think I'll glue that one there. Yeah. So um, Steph had done an amazing project for it if you were to knock it down. There's nothing historical or anything like that. Um, but then, for some reason, laws, it can't be done. Um, I think for the, the, you know, the distance between the neighbours and stuff. And then, but it's really hard to sort of work with what's there. And so, anyway, I don't know what's going to happen with that, that job. But this guy is just like, spent this money. Like, he paid 30000 but then... Um, I think it, I think I understood that he spent seventy, but you know, with you know all the different people that have had to go there and look at it, and and then um, the project and that sort of stuff. So anyway, I don't know. That's that's why our friends here. Um, so writable pieces of paper, just to remind you. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so that just is like you know, that's something I wanted to chat about. Is you know here in Italy, I'm sure in France too. I don't. I can't speak for other countries. Um, you can buy very inexpensive um, properties, but then, and you can think, oh my goodness, that's so cheap. I know my brother does. He's he's like, his dream would be one day to own something over here. But the thing about it was what I've learned, and I used to be like that too, because um, we've looked at a few in the in the countryside, um, you know, over the past few years, is that when you look at these properties they can cost you know they'll be advertised at 75,000 euro or something like that but then when you go and look through them with a technician someone like Steffi or an engineer or something like that what you find is that they they need to have the roof redone they um they might need they've got foundation problems I mean the minute there's a crack in the wall, even if it's just in the paint, then you need to get an engineer in, um, or an architect, but then then the architect will bring an engineer because um, there's probably foundation problems. And if there's foundation problems, then that can be quite expensive to repair because it depends on what needs to be done. Um, so yeah, so you know, don't be tricked by the cheap price. For the house sort of thing so yeah i have learned that you need to have 
um, you can pay, pay it. and then of course then all, you've got to be careful but we looked at this place it looked amazing it was inexpensive it was 90,000 euro and of course negotiable um, it was it looked incredible it was gorgeous it wasn't very far from here and um, and so we went to the the agent and we asked we rang the agent and we asked if we could go and see it and he, he when we went to see him he made us go to his office he said let me just tell you because um, this place had um, frescoes it used to be part of a parish and he said first of all up you know, like to go upstairs to take the photographs where the um, frescoes were uh, he had to walk around on the ed like with his back against the wall because it was the you know the floor was about to cave cave in and then he said um, so there was a huge amount of work that needed to be done on this place but it did look beautiful and then he said um, that then there was this like chicken coop building attached to the side of the building he said that that actually that chicken coop was actually belonged to the neighbors and the and the um, the boundary between the two properties was right on the wall of the house so and he said that the neighbor was a very unpleasant person and was refusing to sell that bit of land so that whoever bought the house um, didn't have to have him his chicken coop attached to the house sort of thing and then and it was even like um, what they say here abusive like it because this property was protected by um, the National Trust the heritage you know it's a heritage house and um, I think it was from the 1700s and so so then he said also it's very tough to get things done because it's protected by the, the you know National Trust um, and then and then also there was because there are funny laws in Italy so you've got to be really careful when you're buying something here you've got to make sure you've got a really um, good truthful agent um, it is illegal for agents not to reveal all kind of issues with the property. It is illegal, but you never know. Um, but anyway, there, there was a rite of passage right in front of the house where you would have put your garden. There was a rite of passage because there were, um, you know, walking trails into the bush and and bike trails, and they'd go with the the, the trail bikes, you know, the, the noisy ones. And so you couldn't even do anything with the garden sort of thing so he said I uh, he didn't even know how he was ever going to sell the property so that was a shame but that's just an example of the types of things you know don't be as I'm saying don't be bedazzled if you're thinking of buying something over here don't be overly bedazzled <laughs> or overexcited about the price because you need to really then go and check um, what kind of issues there are with that property sort of thing so anyway that going back to um, Steph, that's what they've got the issues with this, you know, renovating this property or knocking it down. They can't knock it down now because otherwise um, the project won't fit in the piece of land anyway. So our friend, he's going to come back. He's gone off to buy croissants um, and hopefully doesn't get lost. <laughs> And yeah, so our renovation is chugging along and um, we pretty much have a date now of when we might move in because the, the phone technician will be coming to reattach internet on the 12th of July. We probably could move in sooner, um, but as I, they telephone and it's kind of hard to organize that. Um, so yeah, I bought, they rang me yesterday and I wasn't sure, you know, where we were at with the renovation. Like I think that if I push, Steffi we he would let us move in earlier but um, he said it's better because it's so hot we should just move over slowly but we're not it's not ready yet like our kitchen's still being finished and um, and the bathroom is 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 nearly done but it um, the the shower glass is missing and I think that's all that's missing from there and there's still fur custom furniture that's going in because we, we that, so basically our place was a shell and we didn't have any storage before so we got a lot of custom stuff done um so that we could ha you know like steph in our lounge room where our, we also have our little sort of office area um where steph works and then and then i was working as well 
we're going to have a he's had a cupboard made with you know that can fit my printers in so we don't have to see all of that stuff and we can put you know some accounting stuff in there and bills and in this cupboard and then he had we're still peeping out we've got an I you know we had one of those ikea desks with the glass and steph loves the glass but we had this silly very uncomfortable trestle legs totally useless why we thought that looked good i don't know just a mess and a, a dust collector and no drawers and that sort of stuff um but we're keeping the glass the glass wasn't cheap and and it, it's um yeah the glass wasn't cheap and it's it's very functional and lovely so um and so we just got a base built i think i'll put that there um to to for the glass to sort of sit on there you go i've chatted you through this pretty collage here um and then we'll flip it over and we'll do something else on the other side we'll make it into something um yeah so uh, that what that need that's all being done and then that tv then we had like tv and we've got sh um, shelves being made for one side and so that's still in the process because we got a lot of lot of stuff made from our, our friends a cabinet maker so um he's very good but he's naughty He's, he's um, quite grumpy at times, but I, you know, he's a, he's a, we've known him since we came here, came to live here from Australia. Um, so um, he's got quite a lot of stuff to do and he's one person, so, um, but he is cheeky. <laughs> he did, you know, Steffi sent him the specs, the, you know, the, they call them the specs, the, um, the details of the, you know, the appliances when we were getting the kitchen done and he didn't look at them properly um or in, i don't know i don't know what happened but anyway the fridge doesn't fit and he he could adapt the fridge cupboard thing to to the fridge that we you know we we ended up purchasing and has arrived because, and then he's like <laughs> it arrived and he's like it doesn't fit but he if we don't he he always has this thing like because they they you know they will get you the electrical appliances but we went to directly to the supplier um he won't guarantee that it will fit he won't he won't do that so um he you know he's making us get a different fridge so we won't step he's not impressed because he um, and step said he would take him two hours to adapt it and put it in but he won't that's the he's very temperamental he's a temperamental artisan and we know it and i said steph you knew that that would happen you knew that he's like that so there's no point in sitting there being grumpy about it just get on with it <laughs> just just get a different fridge they'll switch it for us and um and and let's just move on to the next thing You've got too many he's got too my husband's got too many things on his plate at the moment to be worrying about the fridge but it annoys him it, you know all that he i mean he's i said i hope that you're going to move in and be satisfied because he can see all that any defects that there are and there are, you know, there are little defects. Well, I wouldn't notice them because I'm not an architect, but he does and it annoys him. And I'm like, well, some things can't be remedied now. And he, you know, he works and he couldn't be there all the time standing over them, making sure everything was happening as it should. So um, there will be a few little defects, which is frustrating, but, I, you know, I don't, I don't get hung up on that sort of stuff. okay isn't that nice so that's sort of like a writing side now what will we do on this side i didn't even make a dent in my scraps not even a dent um i'm really lost today really don't know what i'm doing i'll just swish my hands over there okay so i've got lots of things up here let me see oh they're pretty but then that would be a writing side too, wouldn't it? But it would be pretty. I think I might put that on there. I'm just going to remove the border here. I think someone's got their whipper snipper out outside. My goodness, I, would, I had to take Lulu to the doctor yesterday. She had, um, 
she had these marks on her tummy and um, and they weren't getting better but they're not itchy or anything so I took her to the doctor um, and I had to we sat there for we had to get there early because my mother-in-law said if you don't get there early before they open, the doctor opens um, you you risk you know being too far down the line of people and then you don't and then the doctor will just send you away when it's time to shut he just shuts <laughs> so, so we got there at quarter to nine he wasn't opening until 10 and we got there at quarter to nine and um, we were the first ones there but we sat in the I haven't been to see our doctor and you because he's new like our other doctor retired and then he he passed away um, and so this is a new doctor and I don't like going to the doctor and like, it's especially a deterrent for me if, the, if I know that I have to sit there for three or four hours and I might not be visited sort of thing if you know what I mean so uh, anyway we sat in the wrong doctor's office and then I went and then this doctor arrived at nine I'm like gosh he's here early that's odd they usually arrive late and so w there was one gentleman and then Lula and I went in and, and this doctor's looking at us like who are you <laughs> like I'm, I'm Stefano's wife and um, I'm here visiting with my daughter and he's like you're at the you're 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 not my patient you're supposed supposed to be at the other doctor and I'm like oh and then this nice old man that was after us he he um, showed us where the other ra waiting room was it was so funny and then but then the doctor arrived late so we were very hot and, long story short we were very hot and bothered by the time we got home anyway it, it appears that Lulu had has a um, it's a virus it's a viral thing and um, it's nothing serious and you, there's no treatment for it it'll just get better in about you know she's had it for about three weeks but it will get better um, it usually lasts about five weeks and it's just on her tongue on her stomach area so anyway it's nothing serious so that's good it's good to know I think I'm just going to flip that over the other edge I have no idea what this is going to be guys it's a bit of a mystery um, so, so then I, I came home and I was, I was all hot and bothered. Um, and I didn't, I didn't get, I did, I did do work, but I didn't, um, I went down and painted some fabric for my packs. Um, and so, yep, that's what I did yesterday and I didn't do a video. So this is interesting. Now, what is this going to be? So that's on the inside. I think I might cut it up. I don't have anything down there. Let me have a look at it and think. Hmm. I feel like folding it in half, but then it will be too big for a journal. Although I could fold it in half and it could become a page. It's a bit wet, I shouldn't fold it now. I shouldn't, but I did. See, that's what happens. It needs to dry really before you fold. I'll leave it open. So that could be a page. It could be like a, a signature anchor. You know, when you make it your first page. So I'm wondering then, um, do I want to put some sort of embellishment on it? flowers are interesting. Where'd they come from? They came out of a book. Excuse me while I just muck around for a minute. No. There's no workers next door, but we have the gardener, some gardener somewhere. No, it doesn't go. Okay, so let's have a think about this. Let's make a pocket for it. Not a pocket, no, maybe an embellishment. Yeah, definitely don't want to fold it until it dries. And I want to just see in here. I might use I'm going to put some of that green. I might use a piece of book page. Um, I'm just going to 
here. I don't want it to be too deep a pocket. I'm going to tear this. A bit like the brown paper, I think. I'm going to have a little bit of the book page peekabooing out the top. It's, I quite like this paper. I've said that to you before. It is like, um, it's not as strong as some of the really old paper because it is the 1900s paper, but um, it still has a nice texture and colour to it. Let's see here. It's still too big. It's not going to happen. Use your scissors, Rachel. That's better. And then this, I just want to sort of tear it down a little bit further towards where the other paper is. Just have it peekabooing out the top. Yeah, that's going to be my pocket. And I will put something on it. I like it when these random things just happen. We'll put this in my little page box and I think I could put one of Tracy's oh this one this one's calling me little um, swatchy labels on there really pretty over here I think Wish I could. let's just do this okay so I've got a pocket there and then I'll just decide once it's dry, when I fold it, if I want to put something there. I'm going to snip my corners because otherwise they'll get um, sort of dog's eary. Nothing wrong with dog's ears, but it, it, there are it, it, there is something wrong with it in your papers. Okay, cool. So that's going to be, you know, like sometimes you use, well, I haven't done it for a while, but you know how sometimes you use um, cardstock as a, you know, first um, page in your signature. Well, this is an alternative to using cardstock. So there we go. So we've done that. So let's just do something else. Let's just grab some. I'm just going to grab. Let me grab. Oh, there are envelopes. Let's just grab some. I've got all these envelopes that I made. We've already done some projects with these recently, so I'm just grabbing them out of my to-do box. Let's see what what happens okay I usually like quite like to hinge something to them and I've got a tag that was in my box I think I'll do something with this tag and then um, let's is that big enough? just let's put some glue on the tag and glue it to the book page and then glue something else I'm 
just going to need to find I've got threads here left over from when I did my finish my project. Okay, put that there. Okay, let's see here I've got some plain papers. Oh now this here, this we'll use some of this. This is a the transparent sheet. Let me show you. There we go. See? It's transparent. And I printed up the back side of one of my antique letters and then I cut it into strips and that's how I'm getting that decorative tape, which I love. It's like my new favourite thing. Now here. Oh, I've got to use that. What is this? Oh, that's just a whole oh that's fun stuff. Got what do I have here? Oh here we go. To guide paper. I think I will cut my tag out. I didn't glue anything on the bottom, doesn't matter. So it's a bit of a random video today, but that's the my, my mindset. I am going, starting to go a bit loopy. <laughs> oh dear. Lulu's losing the plot as well. She told me, Mum, I'm, going, I'm losing it. She's, you know, we're very similar in that sense. She doesn't like the heat either. She doesn't cope. Steph doesn't doesn't seem to bother him. Like he feels hot, but it doesn't bother him. He just he just gets on with it. It really doesn't bother him. As a, whereas it causes me actually it actually does it causes me anxiety the whole thought of it because you can't get away from it. Okay, so we'll just trim this off and then make sure it's all stuck down. Just run my card over and make sure it's stuck. A little snipper of my corners. Am I even on camera? Just. Probably been off camera the whole time. <laughs> okay, and then here I think I'm going to put, I'll attach that there, and I think I'll make that, it's meant to be right. Yeah, I'll attach that there and I'll attach another piece of paper, I think. And I will attach, I want to do something. Well, I'll attach that there. Let's tear that down. Let's glue that on. Whoops, there we go, look at that, that's what we don't want. Okay, so we've got a writing area there. I'm going to attach the tag, like so. This eyeball, run some glue there. Not that it matters, because I am going to attach another piece of paper. It's a 
cute little thing. So this you could stitch in the signature or the other option would be um, just to make you making something to hang over a page or tuck in a pocket. And I'm, I do have some bits of edges of the page. Oh, there's a nice, that's a lovely book page. Let's see. What am I looking for is the question. See, I've got lots of strips. I probably need to do some envelopes and use up my strips. Well, I think I'll use, um, I was going to say Ruby's, Heather's, Heather's piece. Let's use this. I am the worst tearer on this planet, honestly. I cannot tear straight if I tried. I haven't attached that straight either. I'm going to put that there, but I want to take this edge off. Right. Okay. We'll put something on there, I think. And we still need to put something here and sometimes on the back I also add a like a little pocket but I'm not going to I'm going to leave that for writing so this can easily tuck into a pocket but let's finish decorating the tag I think a birdie if I've got a birdie that's right it'd be very nice oh I think I like that one I'm going to put a little bit of um, book page behind it not this book page well, I could put this to the book page, it's not the same. Don't want too much. It's a bit of randomness. Random, ran just call me random Rachel. I do sometimes just like if you've got a busy background, I do like to have that little bit of um, separating the, the feature from the background. Feel like I need a little something there and that will be good okay that there and do we want some of my oh I've got this that's nice um, do we want some of that yummy tape that I love 
I've got lots of ones here that could I would like to oh that one's going to go down there these are from the um, these are the washi um, strips that you have access to those I'm pretty sure in that premium membership and um, and then they have like uh, what do they call them Print, uh, I don't know if they call them printables or something and then they've got their designers that make these digital things and they've got these washi strips that I printed on that transparent paper that I showed you before label paper and I absolutely love it I'll tell you why I like it even more so than the um, tracing paper I think what I like about it too is the color cut is very intense on them which I really like I could carry it over right. okay so let's see what what will we do here so that's that I'll just put a little piece there I think I'm not sure what that piece is going to look like that got printed over twice because only a, a part of the page printed and I didn't want to waste it so then I just print it again I love it okay so then in here we've got plenty of writing space maybe here just put something pretty Heather's papers. So let me see. Oh, I love this blue. Oh, she's got a small one. So these are from Heather, Ruby and Pearl. I'm going to put that there I just need to tear off this little bit I guess you could write on there too another little strip oh I think that's really pretty so put that on there and oh you'll notice I also um, trimmed this down because um, it's easier to slide things in then I think I'll trim that. Now, do we want a little tab on the bird? We could do that. Uh, where's my bird? Is my whale tail and? Very clashy, but I like it. I want to put a tab here, and I'm just thinking what paper would I like to use. I'm going to punch one out of this and just see, but I'm not sure. It's very clashy. Like it goes with the tag. Yes, I quite like that. <laughs> I like the fact that they don't go together.
and that just yeah just sort of reminds me that I can lift it cool I like that now let me see like for example this pocket is big enough you would slip that in oh I love that so we've made a page with a flippy tag thing no I'm folding it the wrong way it's meant to fold that way cool so we've got a page and an envelope with a flip and then you just put your I've got a few pages here and put your pages in as normal so these are my pages and then you create your signature as normal yeah cool oh now here I've got these um, little pieces of paper here that I just printed out double-sided and I thought they're cute things to fold and put in this sort of thing so I think if I were to fold that like that yes it will fit so it's a little journaling spot just slide that in there I might put one of Tracy's little labels on there I think it would it's calling out for one um, I've been dying to use this one Now, I'm not saying that I would put this envelope flippy thing in that particular pocket, but I might. You never know. And then slide that in there. there you go it's completed so I think I'll stop my video here because our friend will be back soon and I'll have to stop the video anyway so I'm just wondering do I want to put any any of my little tape on here I might you know it's going to go everywhere I've got plenty printed out so um, I can use it I don't need to hoard it that there why not okay so that's my little project rather than cutting this up I have created a first page for a signature with a pocket and an envelope flippy thing and I just put a little double-sided printed piece in there cute or this could also be stitched in the signature probably in a smaller journal not not such a big one so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, happy I got one video done. And um, have a wonderful day and stay cool. And I will see you again soon. Bye.